Hello and welcome to a new series on this channel. In Widget a Week, I show you Object D widgets in detail and provide useful tips for Object D. Watch this video here to gain information on Object D in general. So let's get started with the first episode. What exactly is a widget? A usual data pack has a series of instructions in a file in form of a command list like this here. This can get very messy in long term with long commands, etc. And you have to place the arguments in a right order and remember all of this. And here with the title, we also have to fight with complicated JSON. What if there were a way to build data packs just with a few building blocks that do heavy lifting for us? While well, Object D does exactly that, and widgets are these essential bricks that construct everything. So here we have a summon widget, for example, with the functionality to create a new entity. Of course, we have to say which entity we want to create with this entity type, which holds every entity in Minecraft. And we have to also say where to create a new entity. This might not be that obvious, but we can group complicated actions in a widget and use it to construct a data pack with few and clear instructions. Object D ships with a lot of pre-built widgets for you to use, but in some cases you want to create an own widget or take a look at the source code. To understand the structure and the function of a widget, I'll do that with a say message widget here. A widget uses the class in Dart and extends a usual widget. This new widget has a generate method, which returns another widget here. Let's actually implement this say message widget. We want a widget that we can give a string to and it uses the say command to output it in our Minecraft chat. Here in our project I created a folder called widgets and also a Dart file here. First off we have to import object D. So we can just use object D here and use the core.dart file and then we can start to define our own widget. We do that by typing the class here and we wanted to call, call it log message. That's the name of the widget and it extends the widget in object D. We are also able to see the generate method. We can just type GE and it suggests this method here. This has to return a widget again. Before we can return anything here, we have to check our inputs. Remember, we want to log a message. That means we have to give this widget a string. So let's define a string here called message. We have to use this as argument in the widget. We use the constructor here, just the name again, and then this dot message. With this, we can use our widget like this. We can just type log message. And then we have one argument here this dot message and we can use a string here whatever and this gets saved into our message property here we can return a command here and the command should be say and then we want to say our message that means we just add our message to this say string here and that's basically it we created our own widget which has a message here with the command widget to use this now, we can go into our main.dart or wherever you want to use it and import it here. We can go into our widgets folder and then we can see our log message.dart here. And now we can use this and we can use log message like that here. And for example, log the message hello. In the generated data pack, we can see the main.mc function and it says hello here. The widgets I will present you in this series can roughly be split into these four layers here. Down here you have the basic widgets, like a command, like a pack, a group or an entity. Then there are wrappers that wrap a Minecraft command into an object D widget, like set block, summon, if and conditions, that use these basic widgets down here. Like we also used with our say message widget. I also included some useful util widgets, that generate, for example, a random score here or time code execution here. And on the top, you have big projects like my recent dungeon extension or an animation API, which generate packs and files itself. 